Hi and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I want to show you how to make Tunisian crochet double stitches and how to make them in three different ways that you can use for your projects. We will be using these double stitches to make fillet crochet in a future video. So follow along with me and let's make a swatch. I will first show you how to make the foundation double crochet stitches. So we start with a slip knot on the hook and then we chain as many as we need. I will make nine chains so we have eight stitches and one last stitch now i have nine chains and to make the double stitch in the foundation i need to make one more chain then yarn over and insert the hook in the back bump of the second chain pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and leave that loop on the hook Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the back bump of the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Continue this to the last chain. When I've reached the last chain, I will make one regular double stitch. And now to return, I will chain one and then yarn over, pull through two until only one loop is left on the hook. This way we have one row of double stitches right at the beginning of the work. If you don't want to make the row of simple stitches to make the row of double stitches, we chain one, then yarn over, insert the hook behind the front loop of the first stitch here at the top, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, insert the hook behind the next loop, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and continue this until the last stitch. When you reach the last stitch, you yarn over, insert the hook behind the two vertical bars at the end of the row here, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, chain one, and then yarn over, pull through two to the beginning of the row to return. This is one row of double stitches. If you want to, you can make modified double stitches. So we can have, for example, knit double stitches. We yarn over, insert the hook as if to knit between these two vertical bars, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Again, in the next stitch and so on. This creates a different look on the front of the fabric from the regular double stitches. In the last stitch we do the same, we yarn over, insert the hook behind the vertical bars, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two, chain one, yarn over, pull through two to the beginning of the row to return. If you want to, you could also insert the hook in another part of the stitches in the row below. For example, you can insert the hook behind the vertical bar and the horizontal bar in the front and make the double stitch. This will make the fabric stay flatter. At the end of the row again, we have the last stitch, chain one, yarn over, pull through two to the beginning of the row. And these are just three ways of how you can make double stitches. You could also have a twisted knit stitch. 
you could have a reverse stitch so you come from the back pick up a loop yarn over pull through two there are many variations that you can try now to finish off this row just like with simple stitches we make slip stitches on top of the row here And this is the finished fabric with three ways of making double stitches. On the back, you can see that the different stitch placements will create a different pattern. The knit stitches create a thicker ridge. You will be able to use these double stitches to make Tunisian filet crochet, which I will demonstrate in a future video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel or my emails if you want to know when I publish more videos and tips and tricks about crochet and Tunisian crochet. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!